Hello and welcome to the APPX or Bundle Installation Video Guide from Windows 10 Mobile Group. Before starting with the installation methods, let's clear out what are these APPX and APPX bundle files are. APPX is the package format for the applications build upon UWP platform. To see them in action, you can load the Windows 10 Mobile Group repository in our Windows Universal Tools application which has a lot of these apps. Those are UWP apps, and there are a lot of installers available to install them without using a PC. Windows Universal Tools also has an installer built in so you can install them using it too. Just keep in mind that even though they are universal apps, any app cannot be installed on any device. So always download the apps from our repository as they are tested and is 100% compatible and supported. Before going to install, we need to prepare the phone for that. First we need to enable developer mode to sideload the apps and installers. For that, go to settings, then click on update and security, there click for developers, then activate developer mode. Then to set your preferred install location to internal storage or to your SD card, if inserted. For that, go to settings, then to system, and to storage, there choose it between internal and SD. Since I don't have any SD in my device, I only get the internal storage as the option. Enterprise Installer is the default installer ships with Windows 10 Mobile, but there isn't really much to talk about it as it's pretty basic. There is no progress bar, notification support or any kind of indicator to track installation. Only thing you can do is wait and hope it will show up in application list. Starting with last threshold builds, Microsoft have bundled Device Portal with Windows 10 Mobile, Device Portal is literally a device manager which can be accessible locally in phone or via USB or Wi-Fi connection with a PC, it can be used to install applications as well. But first, we need to enable it to use it locally, for that, go to settings, then to update and security, and then to for developers. Scroll down and activate Device Portal. Then turn off the authentication. Now open Edge Web Browser and type 127.0.0.1 in address bar and hit enter. Edge will then enter device portal of your phone, then zoom in if you want. There let me demonstrate a sample installation. First we need to select main app package. Then we need to load every dependency if available one by one.
Finally, we click Go button and it will start installing. When it displays done, go to the app list and the app will be displayed there. Microsoft App Installer is the best installer among all of the others. Undoubtedly if you are using a Windows 10 or 11 PC, you are already familiar with it. Thanks to the great features of the App Installer, it leads on the top, like for an example, a progress bar, detailed app capabilities, notifications, auto dependency install, and so much more. So we recommend installing this in your mobile more than the others. Since these are external installers, we have to sideload and set them up in our devices manually, but they worth it when compared to inbuilt installers, I have already downloaded and moved the zip contents to my downloads folder, as usual with any APPX installation, we install the dependencies first. Then when done, get out from dependencies folder, there, first we have to install the old version as the second newer version cannot be installed with Enterprise Installer. So let's install the old version first. Then wait a few seconds and reopen the package. This time, you will get a selection prompt to decide which installer to use as the old version is now installed. But this version is old, we need to update it. For that, we need interop tools. I already have it installed, package link is in description if you don't have it. Proceed to the app exactly as the video. Then click Browse and choose the new version and select Update Package. When it's completed, restart your phone. Once booted, go back to File Explorer and you will notice the new APPX package icon by the app installer. Open any package and you will now have it opened with the latest version of the app installer. That's it for the basic installation. To fine tune the experience with it, follow the next extras part 2. You might have already noticed, there is a folder called extras among app installer contents. It contains files that will help you to improve the usage of the installer. Go in there, and it contains one package file and another reg file. Before doing anything with package file, we need to import the reg file to system, do it using interop tools. Follow the steps of the video to the letter. After importing the reg, restart your phone. When you are back in the OS, go to File Explorer and open any package file you have. Now you won't get the selection prompt to choose between Enterprise and App Installer when opening package files. In fact, now whenever any APPX or APPX bundle files are opened, they will be opened in Microsoft App Installer automatically. Now to the installation of that package file in extras folder. First we need to uninstall Microsoft App Installer if it's already installed. Go to settings. 
then to apps, and to apps and features, there find and uninstall app installer from the system. Then when done, go to interop tools and install that package file using the installer in interop tools. Once the installation done, go to File Explorer and open any APPX or bundle package you have. Now instead of the messy white splash screen, you will get a proper clean splash screen upon launch, plus some other assets improvements too. This is yet another external APPX installer. Although not as fancy as the app installer, it does the job quite good, and is similar to the package installer in device portal. You can load all the dependencies along with main app package so one installation round for everything. Look at the summary of the installer for more details. Just like any APPX or APPX bundle install, first install all the dependencies and then install the main package. Since I already given you Microsoft App Installer in previous chapter, I'm using it to install package installer. You can use the default enterprise installer if you don't have app installer. Just like in App Installer, there is a extras folder in Package Installer too, but here, it only contains the reg file to set Package Installer as the default APPX or Bundle Installer. Import it using Interop Tools if you prefer to use Package Installer to install packages over the other installers. Once you import the reg, restart your phone. When you boot back, go open any APPX or bundle package and it will be opened in package installer automatically. Interop tools also can be used as an app installer too thanks to its all-in-one concept. But since the app is quite heavy, I don't really recommend it for app installations as you can do it quicker using any other installer. So, I will not include the installation part of Interop tools as we have already discussed for installers. So install Interop tools using any of them by yourself. I will lay out how to install an app using Interop tools and that's it for it. There are also some other installers too, but we are not going to discuss them here. You can find all of these in Windows 10 Mobile Group Repository in Windows Universal Tools app.